time. It is that time. And we're going to have Google as our blue team versus Qualcomm, who's going to be the purple slash red team. I am Pato. With me is the help. You know what? You said time way too many times. Time <laughs> after time. <laughs> hey, everybody. How's it going? Let's get this game on the road. Yeah. So Aurelia Oriana Lux, Aurelia, uh, as we uh, saw at least in the last game that Qualcomm played, uh, when they played Amazon, Aurelia was a, a hot pick for Point Blank, uh, Point Blanket, actually, who is a very, very strong player for their side of the team. Oriana Lux, also two champions that their mid like to play quite a bit. So uh, pretty good bands coming out from Google's side. On the other end, uh, we have a hidden band, which I did not see go down, and then Hecarim and Diana. Uh, in here as well just strong initiators on that side and we'll see what's available because uh, if that hidden band is not rise I expect that we'll probably see Google pick up a rise at some point to play in their mid since yeah, uh, I don't, Pones I don't, is known for that. Yeah, I don't know what that third band is. I can't even see it like it's not even on the map for me I'm, mi I'm mildly concerned <laughs> Yeah, I actually don't see uh, any, any other bands uh, coming in at this point, but it looks like Google for right now settling with uh, a Zinza, who I expect will probably be in the jungle, and then a Lulu Caitlyn, so strong range poke well, versus... Oh, Caitlyn always goes in the jungle, let's not lie. Oh, this is true. It's, it's, it's jungle Caitlyn. Kind of That's how Google rolls. <laughs> now, now this uh, this will be this will be a really good game. I've really enjoyed watching Google play, and Qualcomm are two incredibly strong teams uh, that we've seen in the After Hours Gaming League. Um, and the Aurelia ban, I gotta say, after the Factions games yesterday, you, I expect Aurelia to be banned at all times. <laughs> Aurelia is a monster. She, I mean, better nerf Aurelia is a song by Bad Administrator because you better nerf Aurelia. <laughs> it is true, and I think... The key, at least for Qualcomm's team, is when things are going good for them, it really is Point Blanket who's just running away with it. Although they do have a pretty talented lineup, was very impressed with their 2-0 of Amazon. Um, was pretty convincing. And on the same side, Google just has a strong, solid, consistent lineup for their end, which is why they've made it so far. Both these teams have uh, made it now to the semifinals. And this will be a best of three, so we will see uh, another game despite what happens here. But right off the bat, you know, we're probably going to see, you know, if, obviously there's some targeted picks or targeted bands that have gone off here, but a lot of also just comfort, uh, aggressive picks here. Ponescone's actually played Fizz before, and when he played Fizz, that was the uh, the classic game, I think, for Google. I think they won in, like, tw sub-20 minutes or something like that. Woof. No, Fizz can be an absolute beast, but if you look on the other side, who seems to be running Team Demacia almost over there, uh, is gonna everything's going to come on J4. Uh, Riven, also a big beast, uh, going to be hanging out uh, in that top lane most likely. Um, she's she's an animal. She's going to be get incredibly out of control and irresponsible as long as her lane partner, which will most likely be Renekton, uh, isn't able to keep a lid on her. Um, and kind of quell what might be a surge of riven death or whatever. But uh, but yeah, no, she's there. These right here, these little team comps are looking pretty standard, actually. Nothing really weird out the gate. Um, but we'll have to we'll have to we'll have to see if there's going to be any early shenaniganry. I know that uh, in the after hours gaming league, there is a tendency for some shenanigans early on. Um, yes, I haven't decided where the where the helpful hand shall lie on this one. Yeah, I, I mean, gotta say, I, th I think it's pretty close for both lineups. I think a lot of it too is like that top lane. You have two top laners that both want to do the same thing. They want to establish uh, establish dominance early between Renekton and Riven. They're both two champions that can because they scale that way. And I think the way both champions start and how that game starts off and who gets the upper hand very early on, because I think they're just gonna go at it. Uh, is going to be really, really telling for the pace of this game and how it's going to go. And I think also a lot of pressure is going to be on Pwn Scones because if the Fizz doesn't pay off early and that early aggression, you're not getting kills and you know being Fizz, then you kind of fall off against versus a Kale. It's going to be a lot better for her team just in general uh, with that uh, intervention. Yeah, and that's a... Uh... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to lay the helpful hand for game one down for Qualcomm. And I'm going to put it on Kale's back. Because even even a failure in any other lane, once we break into team fighting, Kale can turn that around with a with a well placed ultimate, like a, in a bigger way than anybody else on the rest of the map can. She can stop and she can stop a carry from dying just long enough to get a kill um, and sway an entire fight. 
Yeah, and I think she's also just a natural great pick for a team that has an assassin like a Fizz. She, she'll be able to shut him down just by nature of her kit uh, mm-hmm. once they get past six. But I think that pre-six, the aggression that we're going to see for Fizz, he might go all in at level two, three. Um, that'll be really fun because you can see here he has barrier ignite. Like he's not he's not playing a game here where he's going to be trying to get it get away and be fancy. He's coming at you, uh, and he yeah. has skills that are specifically built to to win lane and trade. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that little action happens there. Like, I would really like to see that kind of early aggression, getting those kills, and turning that around for his team. But Kale, on the other hand, is able to fight out that out from range. Can stay out of the way as long as she starts with those boots. Can stay far enough back, heal herself, and pace herself as long as she's patient up until six. And as long as Jarvan uh, remains more of a presence than uh, than Zin Zhao, we should have a pretty pretty mellow mid lane. Yeah, I think a lot of lanes are actually going to have uh, some just, you know, I mean, are going to have something good to watch, which is like what I like to see in a matchup. Just the bot lane, you know that uh, Leona's going to be down there fishing with Zenith Blades, and mm. Misfortune is one of those early bullies that's going to try to get there. At the same time, they have a great range team on Google's side that's going to be trying to play that defense game. So a lot of good dynamics in all the lanes are going to be fun to watch early. And uh, yeah, I'm really actually excited for this game to kick off. And I think if I did have to, you know, side with the team, uh, team comp wise, I do feel that, you know, that uh, Qualcomm is more consistent. So I'd have to side with your your helpful hand call there. The uh, helpful hand has been laid down. It going against it would just be craziness. Uh, <laughs> blasphemy, if you if you, somebody if, if, if you would. Um, I really just like them in the mid to late game. We're going to have that Caitlyn who, uh, or, or that misfortune who eclipses Caitlyn. Uh, once you get over the fact that that range was protecting her. Um, also, just the over if you overlay ultimates on top of each other there, Qualcomm, you will have an unstoppable amount of damage in one specific area. But you do have Zin Zhao's disengage. I guess that could kind of rattle stuff up. The helpful hand has already been laid down. <laughs> never, I never second guess my hand. Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think from... Uh... From the beginning of the game to the end, I think uh, Qualcomm has a little bit better of a team here. But again, always comes down to execution, and uh, Google has some really talented players in there. Again, Ponskis in that mid lane is going to be one of the top players for Google to watch. Um, they can thrive off of him, and with a Fizz, if he gets rolling, I mean, could be really big, especially if he gets out uh, to some of those other lanes. Oh, yeah, no. Once his Fizz is allowed to show up in other places, the Shark gets fed, and it's a bad time for anybody else. I mean, I feel really bad right now because I just said that Caitlyn was going to lose and I just sided with Piltover, so... <laughs> hey, well, you know, she's not completely uh, surrounded by her brethren. You know, if if maybe, uh, you know, Janna was down there and Oriana was in mid, you know, you'd feel a little bit more uh, more confident in Piltover. I don't know. If if either, I'm just saying, like, if, uh, if Nettie was in one of these games, I would definitely have to... I think that'd be the only time I would side against my own instinct because she's a monster... <laughs> And she has turned around not only entire games, but lifestyles. This is true. I've seen it firsthand. Live uh, and in person. Yeah. Uh, and so here we go. We're about to see Google versus Qualcomm. Some magic and mayhem. I, I, I really want to see a lot of aggression down bot. I want to see that Leona fishing, and I want to see Lulu dropping picks like a, like a shotgun. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think that early the early stages in all the lanes is going to be really critical, especially even top lane too. And point blanket, I mean, he's if he gets rolled on this Renekton, Renekton is going to have a really hard time recovering. I'm really hoping. Actually, I want top lane to be incredibly civil. I want that moment where both <laughs> of them are like, "Listen here, we're both freaking huge." We're both monsters. Let's just spend the first, like, five minutes not doing anything because we can both stun each other and slow and run away. Like, why chase each other down? Let's just wait until, you know, the jungler shows up, and then we'll decide. Whoever jungler shows up, that'll be a fight. That'll be a fight. But I want there to, I want there to be a, a, manner of, a, a level level of civility up top. I know I'm not going to get it because two of the <laughs> biggest murderers in the game. Because you're asking a crocodile not to be, to be civil? Yeah, and Riven, who's just a murderer. Yeah. Her sword didn't break on the backs of sweet, innocent children for nothing. Yeah, those children had adamantium spines. Oh, and now look at this kind of shenanigans running around, but going to get spotted out by the croc. There's the ping. That's why, that's why it's much better to go that one at a time. You can now see uh, Google 
starting to gather their forces up there, knowing now that there's some sh possible shenanigans coming down in the jungle. Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty hard to invade on teams that have a Kaelin, because Kaelin by herself, pretty much with those cupcake traps split out as well, it's going to be great for them to spot out any uh, kind of juggle invasions. And now that they actually saw them in top lane, I mean, I, I, since they're still stacked up here, I, I, I think that maybe they're just going to be aggressive and still go for this. Actually already pinging on top of where Zinzao is, so they might just still go all and just be a little bit of a delayed invade here. I would. I mean, now that you've been spotted out, you're going to lull them in that false sense of security. Uh, if they actually do do this, and it looks like now everybody's kind of just, everybody just gave up. Everybody yeah. just took that <laughs> moment and was just like, okay, minion spawned everybody. Let's not do what we were going to do. You got your, you got your civility and your, your truce early. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess everybody just wanted to be a little too polite. Xin Zhao even running down to do red to avoid any kind of fight there might see some kind of weird come up to invade onto the blue, expecting them to have stolen yours kind of a moment, only to find yourself even farther behind in the jungle. This Damasian jungle race will be an interesting watch. Yeah, we'll see uh, where Zinzo decides to go from this, but I imagine if he does go up, we'll see a really quick gank on top lane. This is something that's really good from blue side if you want to get an early gank off, because typically a lot of junglers, you know, especially if you have one that has to start blue, um, you start them blue, and then by the time they get red, they're bot lane, so they're going to be looking for ganks there. Top lane normally doesn't expect a gank, so by starting at red, hitting blue, getting that quick three, especially with someone like Zinzo who can really stick onto you. If he just sits up here, waits for the correct time, we see... Uh, Riven with the ward there, but if he maybe comes through lane, um, he could pick up a really good gank under Riven. There's the aggression I was looking for down bottom. A bunch of damage landing on top of our sweet Caitlyn's dome piece. Uh, trap going down in the bush and over in mid. A little more, a little more civil in mid. A little more civil, kind of what you'd expect. Caitlyn playing patiently, staying out of the range of any of Fizz's little trickery. Fizz just biding his time, trying to get to that level and that point where he no longer has to care about her existence. Yeah, he, he's pretty buff up. He also has a red pot as well, so that's going to be his key for his all-in. You can pop that when he want, does want to get super aggressive here. And Riven the same actually has a four pot up there, so we're not going to have more sustain. But you know, if she if if Riven pops that in that in that trade, she's going to have the advantage. Oh, quite definitely. And that right that potion right there might just be waiting for a jungle's and a jungle's chance to invade here. We have Zin Zhao now creeping up for what looks like a lane gank. Riven dropping down to Tribush to kind of do a little sweep, make sure she wasn't getting pulled up upon. This could actually be a devastating moment in somebody's lifestyle. If he yeah. flashes for this, he's going to have her. Yeah, I think also if they, she, they might be able to just wait for the, the broken There he is, popping stress. out a little bit early, but a big stun coming out. And now we're going to get that slice and dice knock up. There's the flash. Ignite going down. J4 is going to come through and save. Potion's going to stave off the uh, impending Ignite, and she's going to stay a little bit too close and might be playing with some croc jaws. If she uh, if she isn't careful, yeah. The 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 perfect part uh, about that combo there is right when Renekton's stun is done, which it's a pretty it's a pretty pretty long stun, it's like 1.5 seconds. That is just enough time for Zinzo to get set up for that third talent strike. So the time the third strike comes in, it's right when the stun wears off. You have this huge stun potential, and Riven barely escapes out of there thanks to some coverage and a lot of health pots being chugged there so nicely executed and, and it, a pretty scary lane combination oh yeah no that i mean and that was the moment we were looking for that moment of civility where everybody was hanging out and the engages are going to come when we get these junglers up here but now that riven's at half health even hopping like a bunny isn't going to save her if the croc decides to jump down on her just like he is right now taking her down to a quarter health she is still getting oh, way too invested pot. in this she oh she wants it this. bad <laughs> You need to be careful. There's far more uh, enemy creeps there in that lane. You see her back off with barely a little bit of health. So kind of thinking about doing it all in there, but it's not going to work. Um, but at the same time, she I think she felt that uh, Point Blanket actually felt that had to make a move at that point because otherwise Renekton was just going to rinse repeat uh, that uh, harass combo over and over again. You slice and dice in, get off the stun, call the meek, slice and dice on the way back out, and you really don't have a lot of response to that in lane. So... And to prevent being able to put, put too low and just dying, she actually put a little bit of pressure on backed off so she wouldn't uh, have her wave pushed in. Uh, down bot, though, super pushed in, up against the tower, really low health, waiting for some kind of action to happen. Xin Zhao was trying to defend, maybe add a little bit of love, oh, but he gets all in underneath turret, and Fizz going to pick up first blood, and there it is, Pwn Scones. Doing some serious work, and also his CS is just way superior. I mean, he's been putting a lot of pressure on Nikhail. Not expected. Uh, from Qualcomm, and that's going to be something to watch for. You know, we talked about if Fizz gets on a roll, and it looks like early on it's being set up for that. Absolutely, and there's uh, 
<sighs> that's what we were. That's kind of what we were. Uh, what what Fizz's game has to be. He has to force Kale underneath the turret where he's kept her pretty much all game, uh, and where she can't farm as well unless she's blowing through mana. And once she's low on mana, you no longer have to worry about the heal. You no longer have to worry about any of that kind of shenaniganry uh, that can drop down on top of your head. He's keeping her low. He's keeping her on her heels. And Jarvin is way too busy trying to keep up and keep the rest of the lanes where they need to be uh, with this presence presence from Zin Zhao being able to be all over the map. It's actually a fun matchup in top because both these champions, I mean, they don't really have um, s the standard resources, so they're never they're not going to run out of pressure or damage. It's basically just a battle of cooldowns and execution. And right now, Riven trying to turn this one around while her uh, abilities are up, and they're just going to keep trading up in that top lane. Maybe a jungler is going to tip the balance as we see J4 starting to creep up uh, up that way. But Fizz actually getting there, getting a, a wraith ward, so not actually going to pursue, but. Um, just some aggressive warding going on from him. Might be able to jump on uh, some raids if it does happen. Well, either raise or a possible J4 kill right there in the jungle if he happens to be low. Getting spotted out by that ward, he's going to have to really engage here. Oh, and there's the flash burn to dodge the knockup. Good move. Yeah, good move. I think, uh, yeah, I think he could have probably still got away, though, since Riven actually wasn't pursuing him. But he's going to get that flash and flashes down, so he should be fine. Should also see that uh, J4 creeping over there since he does still have a ward up in the brush and since Riven isn't here, doesn't care, just trades the stun with him really, really quickly. So giving Riven some time to actually just get some free farm here uh, while we're next in zone out and playing that patience game because I know as a top laner, there's a lot of times where you see that jungler appear and you think like, are they really gone? And you've been ganked so many times that you know sometimes you get a little bit shy, but since he does have that ward there, he will know uh, that J4 is backed off here and goes in for the trade. Absolutely. Back in mid, we're back to this game right here, keeping using everything he has to keep Kale as pushed up against the tower as possible. She's losing out on CS left and right. Yeah, that's, a, that's just a mechanic to test against a lot of a lot of players. It's like, can you last it underneath turret? I mean, if you haven't had a lot of practice and you have a champion that's not used to it, someone like Kale is hybrid where you're going in between, um, you know, AoE range attacks and melee attacks, sometimes it can be a hard thing, and especially with the pressure from Fizz. Um, obviously paying off right now for Google in their mid lane. Absolutely. Let's, let's just look at that number. What do we have here? 60 CS versus 30. Doubling in CS here with the two rings sitting on there. Way ahead in both mana regen, ability power, and health. That's a really tanky early game fizz. Just waiting for anybody to make a mistake next to him. Yeah, nothing too crazy going on with a lot of builds. This top lane is just kind of mimic each other except for uh, with health pots here and there. Bottom lane. Pretty much even except for we see the long sword. Oh, that Zenith Blade just barely missed. Otherwise, I think Cat Scan would have been done for. Uh, but luckily, going to be able to get out of that one. Leon Alt, Sloan, uh, not quite enough. Tiny broken swords, junglers jungling, mid laner slap fighting, bot laner CSing. It's a pretty average day. Yeah. <laughs> Caitlyn with a little bit of that extra attack speed. We'll see actually what she. Uh, decides to roll into with her build. Um, obviously should be going for Berserker Grease soon whenever they do go back, but uh, Misfortune with just that little bit of early aggression that we just saw down bottom, giving her uh, some free time to farm here, and we'll see uh, if Caitlyn can last in her turret pretty well. She's going to need to to keep up the pace. Felt over Caitlyn, for helping out there. Caitlyn's an awesome uh, under turret CS, or as far as I'm concerned, and Riven up there just getting picked on a little bit. J4 is going to knock Xin Zhao up, but not really a lot of follow through with that. There's nothing they can do without having two stun machines, the, what we will call Operation Stun Combo, uh, or prom, prom Date Gone Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Just stunning you and then knocking you up and leaving you there. Like So Riven, Riven couldn't handle that. I don't even know if J4 could handle both of these collapsing onto him. Could have been a, a two-for-one fight there. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup, actually, um, or at least the way the game's playing out, because as a top laner, you're usually pretty used to in the current... There is a Zenith uh, Blade oh, going oh, down oh. bottom. Big old combo's coming through, but the Shark is going to come by, grab everybody, and there's the mistakes that everybody has been waiting for. And Fizz is just going to get himself a couple of kills really quick. Oh, g politely giving one to Caitlyn right before... Giving both to Caitlyn. Yeah, Chaos I, getting the double kill. I, 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 I'm... Very well. Isn't he the politest little fisherman on the planet? Look at that tiny little hat and his little hop-along giddiness. <laughs>
Paddington Bear esque, if you will. But yeah, now Jungler's down here at Dragon. They're going to try to pick it off after that double kill. If they do go in, they have got vision based off the standard, but it's going to be pretty risky to go in there. See, actually just slowing down the roll on the Dragon, but the poke coming in. Zinzai needs to be careful here. They are able to take the Dragon. The Cataclysm quick flash out by Hans. Now they're going to try to turn this around. Pwnscones thinking about Ooh. going in, but now he's the slow, running really low on mana here. And there is the ult coming out from Hans to back them off. Uh, and try to get out of this one. Will we see the speed catch up become a factor? So low on mana are all the members of Google as they're running underneath their turret, but they should be safe now. Uh, and nice objective control. Uh, very nice. And that right there was a really good fight. Everybody was just too low on mana to really do anything about it except for Sweet Kale. Uh, Jarvan couldn't afford to standard it out. And up top, we have nothing really exciting going on. Uh, just exactly the same game that was going on up top is still going on up top. 280 bruisers dealing damage to each other. <laughs> 280 All reasons. day long. Uh, Demacia. Both of them say that now. Renekton, a fan of Demacia. Kale looks like she's just creeping up, trying to farm. A lot of pressure coming on bottom since it was backed off of. Going to put a decent amount of damage on it, but obviously Caitlyn and Lulu are going to be able to, to bring in this one up here, put up some defense, and uh, back them off out of this one. Yeah. Over peak and they can but, come in. You know, they just traded Dragon uh, for half a turret and a couple kills. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's a. Uh, or they, trade, they got Dragon and a couple of kills for the cost of half a turret. Like, I'm okay with that. That's a big win for Google as yeah. an exchange. It's pretty hard, uh, but uh, Crazy Moose on Leona last time, at least in that last engagement, a little quick. Skirmish down here, both uh, members trading back and forth, both 80s coming out pretty much even on that one, just uh, as far as trades and damage go. It looks like Fizz going all in, Intervention going to come in to try to dodge his playful Trickster's way out, going to land the Shark, going to be able to slow J4 up enough, he's not going to be able to be caught, and Pwn's going should be able to get out of this one. I don't know. Oh, okay, there could have been some really interesting over this little wall right here, standard action knocking him up, but I don't think enough to kill him before any of the escape mechanisms that our sweet boy Fez has would have been back up. Yeah, Pwnscone's known that champion pretty well going in for the harass, and if J4 wasn't there, would have been able to clean up afterwards. I think Leona, especially on that last uh, gank that we did see bottom from Pwnscone's, with Fizz especially, just one of those champions where it's like uh, it's like almost like a, a game of chicken where it's like, are you going to try to flinch and stun me before, because uh, I have the tools to dodge you, and I'm just going to run at your carry until you try to throw him out, then I'll try to dodge him. Where I think Leona need to be a little bit uh, more patient uh, with her stuns to try to to try to peel for a carry. And up top, out of that, but. up top, Riven has had enough bringing out the ultimate really early to get them off of the tower, laying down some damage onto Hansel. Hansel. <laughs> uh, but they're putting a lot of pressure up top right now. They want this top turret. They want Renekton to be able to roam. They want that stun to be in all the lands. Yeah, I think just at some point they're 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 both both teams just kind of looking for a way that they can actually take down the first turret and break open the game for one side uh, or the other. Right now, um, it looks like at least in CS for the majority of the lanes, Qualcomm actually doing a pretty good job here. Middle lane, the only one that's really completely off for them. Even in the jungle, J4 farming up pretty well compared to Zinza, who's actually been making a lot of appearances in top uh, in other lands currently. Yeah, no, everybody's been everywhere. And up top, we have, once again, they're touching each other. I don't, like, just go back to civility. You're not, I feel like they're just wasting sword strokes. I feel like your champion should get tired after a while. Like, <laughs> you have a like your Pokemon, bar. Yeah, like your Pokemon brawl. Just like, you know what? You've hit this guy for, like, nine minutes and haven't done anything. You're officially exhausted. Yeah, you have to go back to base. Hey, wait Take a second. Out. There's no stretches. words over here for Qualcomm. That means Hansel is free and clear to be there. They must have seen him. There must have been a way. Yeah, or they just know just based, based off the aggression maybe that's coming down in here. Because you know, sometimes when, when people are overly aggressive and zoning out, you know oh something's my. gone up. Oh, I was pretty sure that we were going to get Hansel coming through the little tri the back tri-bush. Um, but instead, we're getting a little bit of an engage here. Jarvan's going to be able to come out and capitalize if we can get a hop off. Ooh. I was hoping we could get a... Oh, but Kale is here to force Kale... To fla Kale, Caitlyn, Flash, no engagement. Everybody goes back to regular fight. Fizz is gone. Yeah, Chaos with a really quick flash right there. Good reaction times from him. Does not get slowed and possibly picked up. But again, that was just kind of like where you read your opponents. Like, they're aggressive, so they probably have the jungler nearby. Then you saw Leona and Misfortune just all of a sudden go ham. And then you yeah. go, okay, J4 is probably coming as well. Everybody backs off out. No one dying uh, in that exchange. 
uh, currently, and still a 3k gold lead that uh, Google's been able to build up the uh, up for themselves based on off the back of these kills, uh, that dragon and uh, Fizz's aggression here in the mid lane and control that he's been Ugh. able to. Fizz runs this lane. This yeah. lane exists only to serve Fizz and his glory. I think Google probably looking for another chance to get a pickoff here. We do see Zin's out. Is going to be able to get into those lines. Is going to pop up Leona. Stun coming out, though. He is going to use the ult to try to put some damage on there. Glitterland's going to be a little bit short, but just actually going to help push that way. Pwns going, meanwhile, in the jungle, attacking Kale, trying to cut off her rotation. Nicely done uh, by uh, Pwns going to the mid lane. And J4 now coming down to that bot lane to help uh, back this up and defend it. Although, uh, this looks like it'll go all in, and boom, there it is. And that, I don't, like, Kale turned around at the wrong moment. Now, it might have been trying to cast a spell at the moment that he was on top of the stick uh, and wasn't able to, uh, but that was the moment not to be turned. Oh, and a big ultimate there, going to barely get escape, uh, and those two are going to escape, but most likely lose their turn after this push. Yeah, and that would actually be really good for Qualcomm. They need to have, they need to take down a turret, they need to open up the map somehow. Uh, they need to get out of lanes because right now it's not actually uh, serving them uh, to have that uh, have all these towers up and still just be locked in lanes just the way it's uh, getting played out here. Although Riven going to be able to put out a decent amount of damage on uh, this top turret now since uh, Renekton actually uh, went back out of lane and uh, has it pushed up pretty decently. Should get some decent damage on there. And Fizz now picking up that Lich Bane. Um, not a big fan of the complete just straight rush for Lich Bane, but... It's going to be strong for him. Like his his uh, his burst damage is going to come out here, uh, and also he's going to be going for the hourglass next. As you see, the two cloth armors. Um, Poundstone is on his way to being a real uh, real pirate in their pudding uh, when I, I it comes to team fight phase. I disagree with you. At 130 CS, uh, highest CS in the game, highest kills. He's sitting on the most possible gold, and he just became an absolute terror, grabbing that Lich Bane right off the bat. Um, he's now every single one of his attacks post his ooh. Big ultimate landing onto Jarvan right at the end of Intervention. Uh, big pressure coming up top, hoping to get this top turret down, but Riven's able to fight both of them off once again, waiting for any kind of a reprieve. And here comes our first dragon attempt for Qualcomm. Yeah, and here's the pressure going to come down, and they uh, they should pick this one off. They did see multiple members pop. Lulu's backed off, not going to be able to get in on this one. And a nice dragon pick up here for Qualcomm, keeping him in this game and actually closing down the, the lead that Google's been starting to This is the moment to turn on Fizz. <laughs> uh, and they missed out. That was your 4v2 situation where you had both carries there for the taking. Your big tanky front line uh, was down there with you, as well as your carries. You had the ultimate advantage. You couldn't ask for a better team fight. Yeah, Qualcomm just trying to play it safe uh, at this point. It looks like uh, for them. Oh, I absolutely agree. I'd be scared of Fizz too, but you can't. You can't sit on fear right now. You're not far enough behind that you've lost, but you are. Ew, and there's Riven having to bust a quick flash really quick as she pulls him under the turret, hoping to uh, that to do all the damage necessary, stunning him and hopping away, doing every bunny move she can to try and escape. The swirling death crocodile. They are going to get top tower now. Zin Zhao has popped everything he has. Kale sneaking up here to try and pull some sneaky little maneuver as they try to collapse onto Riven, but she's going to fall out of range, and the Croc is going to get some damage laid down by the AP carry from Qualcomm. Not enough to really do anything. They're back to slapping each other in the face. Riven is sent home. Some good coverage there. Uh, you know, Once Renekton gets that Sunfire cape, um, combined with his ult, the damage that comes out is pretty surprising, and Riven just being able to barely escape out of this one, and now some pressure going to come on that second turret. Uh, as we see Kale's actually rotated back Miz, now on to Pwnscones. Pwnscones using that shark, now deking out the top side. Got to run back in the jungle, but the flash from J4 really wants to get on him. But I think with that playful trickster, might be able to get enough distance, although the pop-up is still going to come in here. Will Pwnscones be able to turn this one around? And now nope, the intervention vulnerable. coming in. And that was that moment right there. Another one of those great moments where you have the opportunity to win the fight, but you don't trust your team. Yeah, just... Actual <laughs> brutal here now. Point Blanky, will he be able to do it? Do this? He's two v one now. Is gonna try to throw out that execute, but it has faded, and now it's gonna be all the shaper chaos and Zendo just leaving him kind of to be the the one slice and dice. Not actually hitting a member, so not gonna be able to fully get out of this one. There's the broken wings. Gonna go for that last stun with the shield and picked up. And I don't know why Zendo left uh, left his buddy. I I, I, <laughs> I don't. Zinja was just like, you know what, fine. Hansel was like, um, you know what, if you want him, take him. You guys have been having a rough time up here. 
I understand. I, I feel like you guys wanted to kill. You, you'd been you'd been kill us. I don't want to get get you guys too motivated. So. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't make you too angry for game two. Let's uh let's keep it civil. I expect a fizz ban. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean completely. But I mean he has other really potent champions. I mean his rise is very strong as well. So. Um, oh, absolutely. I wouldn't be. I I I, I expect. I, I ex but I just I can see it coming. I can see it in the breeze. Oh, I I'd, I'd ban it if I was if I was them after this game so far. I mean, uh, no matter if they if Qualcomm does end up winning this game or not, um, definitely a champion that you just don't want to have to deal with. You don't ever want to have to deal with your mid lane getting dominated like this. And especially if you're gonna lose, uh, if it's a situation where you are gonna lose your mid turret, I mean, that's just Ooh, the, the one there's objective. The, the turret playful that trickster has already gone down. Yeah. And invulnerable to keep Fizz off the line, but that's not going to be enough to get Kale. Ooh. So much being blown to keep themselves alive in the mid lane. And Fizz just, I mean, again, like you said earlier, he runs this mid lane and he's keeping it up. Do you see the damage off that Lich Bane proc, though, when he dove in? Uh, immediately going from 100 to 20% health. Not for Riven, of course, because Riven doesn't believe in taking damage. <laughs> but on somebody like Kale, who's going to be your squishy AP mid, not something she can handle with very well. And right now, still, the bot lane the locked up. Somebody just waiting to get a tower down so that they can start roaming and start putting pressure elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, the Lich Bang is strong, especially with the advantage he does have. I, I usually, from a lot of the... The top fist players that I see, you can rush a Lich Bane or you can actually wait on it a little bit. Although a lot of pressure now coming onto Riven, so much help uh, to try to take her down. But uh, Kale sitting there in the wings has that blue buff, has those extreme cooldowns. They don't want to try to fight this one out. Is going to have a lot of damage to back this one out and a kill down bottom from J4 as he comes in on that bot lane. Now they might be actually able to put some damage uh, or some pressure on this turret if they want to decide to keep this up. Caitlyn, the lone survivor down there, but Zinzao coming down to that tri brush is going to back her up. I would have done an intervention tower dive. Intervention was up on Kale. Could have tower dived it with Riven. Could have called that as just a, like a go deep. But I'm a kind of a go deep kind of guy. I want it. <laughs> I just... Oh, the tree is coming in for both AD carries, pushing him back under turret and uh, a familiar sight. J4 running bottom to protect uh, their bot lane. And J4's been really effective bottom. He's been down there at really crucial moments, been able to pull off some really, uh, really good fights down there. They've had those ki those positive exchanges, but to no real kind of reward. Yeah, interesting enough, I think uh, Hans just blew his flash down bot lane to maybe get a little bit more distance because he got scared that he was going to get caught, but I think it was pretty unnecessary considering they weren't really... didn't look like they were going to fully pursue that one, but now they're going to lose mid turret. So I think Qualcomm right now just kind of losing their lane management. I mean, they've lost two turrets top lane now um, and just kind of been having some funky rotations. They need to just kind of group together to fight this one out, and you see this fizz damage coming back in here. Intervention coming out the last second, but now Kale is left out to dry, and we're seeing two big bullies going at it now underneath turret and just fizz waiting for those cooldowns is going to come in with the playful trickster is going to pick up one kill fail flashes to get himself out but now renekton underneath turret will be able to get this one leona's all gonna be able to save riven plus that shield and uh a nice pickup and punishment there but again another turret taken three man push bottom uh and google keeping up the pressure where qualcomm seems to be dropping the ball in this game is in communication with kale ultimates um, when Kale Ultimate is up, you have to be will like that experience right there where they were in that hard engagement. Uh, Kale Ultimate was up, hit Riven. Riven was still running. Uh, that's your moment to turn. Like, you could still run, and yes, Riven did get out of that fight, but that fight and that damage potential of sitting there with that, uh, with that invulnerability is, is way too high to waste like that. And we've seen it time and time again where, where you, they're not aggressive. The Kale Ult is a defensive me mechanism to them, not an aggressive one. Yeah, I mean that's and it's easier to use as the offensive one because like it's easier to be you know like as as your team's going in you just alt someone, where in those scramble situations where you are behind like this you know it's, it is it does require more communication like you pointed out and we'll see if Qualcomm you know maybe they actually haven't just been used to playing a lot with Kale and being behind because in general most games I've seen them play so far in HGL they're usually in a commander leading position so maybe that's a factor that's coming in here to to haunt them at least uh, in these engagements but. Fizz and just the, the stage of Fizz, that Pwn's going to take a lot of damage and just turning straight on to J4, jumps into the Cataclysm, says let's do this, but Intervention comes in Hey, now, remember what I was just talking about? Do you remember what I was just talking about? <laughs> and there it is. There's that, there's that aggressive Intervention, getting on him, giving him that ability where he's already used his escape mechanism to do damage because he believes he's going to win the fight, and then you take away his hope. 
Yeah, well, I mean, that's just a great counter to assassins in general, like Fizz. Yeah. And Fizz, Pwn Scones, it's, it's really an error on Pwn Scones for trying to pick that fight just out there in the middle. I know he's ahead, but without a lot of team backup at this stage of the game, it's just kind of asking for it to give up a situation like this, and you give up the pressure, give up an outer turret because you don't have your big burst damage dealer in there and you have Crocodile Top, not going to be able to really defend anything. That moment where you see the entire enemy team backing up in a random direction and you're just like, they're probably coming over here. I'm <laughs> and the blue pill starts. So back to base. Uh, looking at uh, most of the builds. So Fizz actually does have the hourglass now as well. That's going to make him harder to kill. Might be able to pull off his last uh, attempt that he did last time as well because he'll be able to hourglass during the intervention and possibly pick up a kill. But still, just need to use him smartly. And Google just really needs to mount up here and should actually have some information on this Riven actually coming in on their red buff. So we might see a collapse on their Riven at this point. But a lot of aggressive wards going from both teams in the bottom side of the jungle. So interesting to see what happens out of that. Maybe they're just waiting for the next dragon fight to, to happen uh, so they can work out that. But Leona now kind of beaten Chased out of the bottom jungle and Caitlyn now collapsing up here cupcake trap onto point blanket and they're just going to ro roll on out as uh, the rest of Google starts to mount up towards this Bob Dragon's head. And that was a really good move by point blank going back and hitting that cupcake trap like that. Uh, being Riven you have an endless ability to get away while Leona on the other hand is just going to help you kill this dude who decided to go hang out with you in the bush until Fizz shows up and now you're all running. <laughs> yeah, playing with my emotions I swear just playing with my emotions. Yeah, they know they're actually in a lot of trouble here uh, Ooh, if they just stick around, but put in the least a little bit of damage that they could do. Uh, and now both teams mounted up here, just missing J4. Uh, Ward over the wall coming in, and both teams just posturing right now. And I don't expect them to actually dive underneath turret or anything crazy like that, so maybe just posturing to wait for a uh, dragon to come up or an object to come up to, to fight this one out, because they shouldn't uh, just straight up press this, I don't believe. I don't believe so either. This seems like, then there's Riven jumping in there, oh, out a giant crocodile underneath the tower, but is this going to be enough to really get them off of here, or are they going to lose underneath the tower? Yeah, intervention does come in, but now they can be turned on. There's that Fizz dive, is going to be able to get a double kill, and now is going to start to possibly clean this one out. J4 running for his life, there's the cooldown reset, there's the triple kill, going for more, gets the slow, there's the quadra kill. Will we see the Penta? It looks like he's just waiting. He's there it is, Penta kill for Pwns, Gowns, and Fizz, and count it. I wish I could, but I can't. I was never taught how to count that high. Um, <laughs> that it will be the the straw on camel's back, life ending force. There, losing underneath your tower like that is just a super. Not only a demoralizing moment, but getting not aced, quadra or sorry, penta killed, everything running against you like that. They're going to push into base right here. If they don't push to win, they're well. well I guess they're going to be up in like four seconds, so they'll back out of this one. But they've just lost an inhibitor, and the entire control of the map. And honestly, I'm pretty sure Fizz could still kill them if he doesn't finally get taken down right here. Riven, very mad. Execute, getting yeah, the execute, get, getting get a, get a double, double kill, kill off of it, too. Triple coming. Oh, nope, going to be stolen by Leona, but nice, uh, you know, just staying around a little bit too long. I mean, obviously they wanted that inhibitor, but again, home guard, home guard boots, season three, a big change yep. to... to when you're in the enemy base, how quickly they can respond to you. Now they're charging over. Might just try to rush a Baron here since they are behind uh, and could pull it off with two members still down, including the jungler. Or three members still down, including the jungler. And they might get a crocodile while they're at it. Nope. Yeah, with no okay. teleports or any fancy action coming here, this should be a Baron for Qualcomm. And this is going to be a really great, you know, a speed bump, as I like to call them, for a lot of teams that are starting to be in a lot of trouble where you lose your bottom inhibitor. Now you're going to be able to, off the back of those kills, pick up a Baron. It's going to give you uh, at least a little bit of threat now uh, for these team fights, some extra gold to catch oh, yeah. up for uh, the arms race that's going on right now. And that triple kill right there might have been exactly what the team needed to rally behind. They needed to see Riven's capability, even though, yes, they were fighting somebody who was lower health and stuff like that. A moment like that can be a, the morale boost you need to get you over what just happened to them. Yeah, the thing they need to be careful of is kind of what did them in that last fight where they got the first few kills and then they chased out away from their turret and they got turned on and cleaned up by Fizz. The same thing happens here. Like sometimes when you get the, those, those kills out of the base, you get that Baron, you're like, all right, now's the time. It's like we're going to press in here and push around. And then the next thing you know, you get wiped. And that's because the enemy team, even though you fought them last time, again, they were low on health. But now they've actually gone back and spent a lot of that gold that they just got from getting penta kills and stuff on you and taking inhibitors and turrets. So then they actually become more threatening, and if you get that false confidence from that Baron buff and go in and get lit up, uh, it can be a lot of trouble. So Absolutely. still need to be careful here. 
oh yeah, they're nowhere near out of the woods, even though they seem to be backing in the woods and getting caught. That is... They're escaping that one somehow through the power of magic, make-believe, and whatever else. But that was that was a, that was a big moment right there. You can see home guard boots coming down, going to be coming down really hard as they try to do this back and forth, trying not to lose a second inhibitor. Yeah, they should be able to defend this pretty well. Um, Caitlyn wasn't quite there yet to, to really poke it on the turret. So just a lot of position going down, but they are going to have to deal with this bot lane, which is already pressing into their base. Uh, exactly. Into their Nexus turret, and as long as we see some patience here, although Riven goes in, loses half her life to Fizz already, but Fizz needs the Hourglass, he's going to Hourglass while being part of there, but should be cleaned up after this bolt time coming out. Going to get the Wild Growth, but the Cataclysm going to be able to stop Fizz from escaping out of this one, and now pressure onto the mid turret and Google sign. All right, now time to get out. We lost Fizz. We're not invincible anymore. Let's <laughs> focus up. But a good trade. I would have I would have given up Fizz to get down that turret. Now there's a naked inhibitor, another place to fight. They're clearing the board of places that are safe to fight for Qualcomm. Like but at the same the time, at the, at the same time, there is only a 5k difference in gold. Yeah, they're going to need to be careful here on this dragon. This is still not a safe dragon to pull off. Riven in the base, but still 4v4. Uh, don't their main ults, but they do have Baron Dragon going to be taken. Now the fight is popped off now, trying to get in here. Kaelin staying relatively safe, but now we see Kale start to focus in there. With that Ignite, should be able to tear down Chaos. Lulu not going to be able to protect it out. Zinzao now turning around, trying to peel J4 off of him and Renekton in the back lines, but now left alone. Actually does have that Fury back up here, but Riven's going to be able to close out any resistance coming here. And Zinzao, unfortunately, coming back into this fight, didn't have to do that. Going to give up another, another kill. And Qualcomm roaring back here. Uh, yeah. off the back of that Baron. And that, I mean, Xin Zhao coming back around to that fight was incredibly dangerous. Uh, I'm a little shocked by it, but that that dragon, exactly as you called it, was a dangerous one to grab, but they decided to go for it, and now the death timers are staggered. They're starting to get longer. This could be the moment where the gold, gold deficit, you've already seen it close 1k. It could keep going that way. Yeah, I mean, Qualcomm, they actually have some confidence now that they can win some fights. Really Google, though, like you like you pointed out a little bit earlier, actually Fizz going to land that all onto Leona. She's going to eat a lot of it with Eclipse, uh, getting that extra MR and armor, but it's not going to be enough at this point. No. Fizz going in there, deleting her, and now, you know, like you pointed out, there's just not a lot of safe places to fight. There's a lot easier objectives for Google to take with their lead, so I expect some fights to be fought over these inhibitors as we move along here. And Fizz also, you know, if they back off out of this Fizz with that Lich Bane, going to be able to chunk uh, any kind of inhibitor or turret uh, if he does help out uh, in, those, in those pressure moments. So it's not going to be a case where, you, you know, as long as you take down the AD carry, you might be a little bit okay uh, without losing your base. We'll see. Yeah, Fizz is, Fizz is not somebody to trifle with. He hasn't been this entire game. We're sitting here at 33 minutes. He is stacked to the gills uh, in straight AP. 600 AP. So that's going to be a problem. He's rocking 13k gold with uh, 1300 sitting in his uh, pocket right now. Uh, I'm pretty impressed that he's kept up his farm too. He's still leading his team in farm. He's still been farming you know, while he's been roaming around and killing everybody, which is a lot of times too when you see a champion spike up and kill sometimes because they are roaming. You see their farm fall off, and maybe that's a way for their lane opponent that they had can catch back up. But Kale's still far miles behind. Actually, still has a bunch of health pots actually sitting uh, in her uh, inventory just because I don't know why at this point. Not going to help her uh, at this stage of the game, actually. 200 health at a time, baby. Everything helps. 200 health at a time. Or is it like 150 now? Never mind. Health pots broken. Nerf. Nerf more applause. But yeah, I should see Google actually start to press in here and uh, take an objective. As you see the mount up here, it looks like they're pressing mid lane. And we're going to have another fight. And if it's decisive enough, Google can just straight out win this game. Absolutely. This is the fight that I've been waiting for right here. The lane has been pushed out in bottom. Exactly, exactly where Qualcomm wanted it right before. The, the shark goes down with a big whiff. And will this? Deal. Ooh! And Riven has decided that it is go time. The ultimates oh. are getting laid down on top of each other. There hasn't been time to do any kind of reaction whatsoever. In the moment of a single stun, everybody is dead. And this is huge. 
Qualcomm has just turned on their adult pants, taken off the diapers, set them back at home, and sent an entire fish fillet to Fizz's mom. That was the most insulting moment of my entire career. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was mastery. That was the ultimate overlay that I was talking about as we first got into here. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of great AoE damage that they can put out. Unfortunately, Google got a little bit complacent and just got completely caught right there. The Leonel, I think, stunned at least three people uh, that was laid down. And whenever you get those kind of ults, I mean, that's huge. Followed by the Cataclysm, followed by the Bullet Time, and Riven's execute as well. And oh. you see Qualcomm just swing completely back here. And all of this possible off of the back of Riven's flash stun into the middle of their group. You saw that ultimate go up, and then there was just this deep breath as Riven was just like, all right, team, mount up. We're about to close the ga gold gap entirely. And she jumped in, stunned. Leona stunned right on top of her, beautifully timed, and held the team still. There wasn't a single thing they could do. I don't even think Fizz got to even use his Zonias. He was nope. burst so hard. No, he was just dead. There's no, there was no time for him to pretty much do anything in that Bullet fight. time raking the entire team. Yeah, didn't like, get barrier up. <laughs> just ended, and Kaelin on the outside of that, not really able to do anything. Uh, when your team gets melted that quickly. I mean, it was so quick, and, and no damage came out there. So, great execution by Qualcomm, just w getting out there and realized they had to throw the first punch, and very nicely executed. And now it's time for our Baron Dance uh, Part 7, as Google runs and wards up there they are been spotted out they are taking down that ward and everybody now is going to do this little dance of who's going to stun who whose ultimates are still up whose ultimates will be back up in time for this fight uh it's looking like everybody's everybody's ready to go it's going to be because there's a couple flashes down but everybody's pretty much ready for this action yeah, it'll be interesting to see how gunshy Google is here, or at least if it, they should be more cognizant now of spreading out. And actually, we uh -oh. see the back door action, which I actually do like this play and this response. We do see the pings going down here as they head for that inhibitor. Not going to be able to three-man the Baron, uh, but they should be able to get the inhibitor very, very quickly. Oh, they can three-man this Baron. They can three-man this Baron. What The question's going to be, oh, who are they going to lose to be able to do that? Ooh, there's that title trick strategy coming down. And he's dead. I'm, I, I love you to death, bro. You've done some really good work here. But in losing Fizz right there and now losing Renekton, that Baron's going to help those three members of your team, but you might have to base fight now. For the first time in this game, you're going to have to be responsible for holding your base for the next 50 seconds, almost one minute. It's going to be a 5v3 in the base, unless they're they not... They didn't have vision, so I, they didn't know that I think the Baron went down, although they should I don't even think it. that matters. I believe you just run to base at this moment. You have now wasted your time. You now only have 30 seconds of this advantage right here. And instead, you're going to rotate top. Okay, yeah, I'll accept. So brilliant play by Google. I mean, honestly, that was probably their best case uh, scenario right there. Instead of just fighting over the Baron, you know you just lost a big, huge AoE fight. So why fight that again? Just backdoor the inhibitor. They lose two people, but they get a Baron. Completely worth it. And uh, Qualcomm didn't you know, quite just try to ram it home and try to win right there. So now I think the, that play nets an advantage for Google. It does, and that's that might be a dangerous misstep because that inhibitor is down, and you've already they've already shown the potential to be able to backdoor. Now they no longer have that base fight potential uh, that they had a second ago. They had one minute. They could have pushed into the base hard enough to have forced Google's three remaining members into a really bad situation when the other two came up and got a really good fight off of it. Right now they're back to pretty much a square one on that. And actually hanging out over at Dragon, they should be able to pick it up quickly, but a big charge down middle lane. We'll see if they actually decide to cut, sweep in from the side and pick up a fight, but it looks like they're actually going to blue pill back here. But in that amount of time, they're s using all these members to blue pill and have to run around. They're going to lose their inhibitor. Oh, yeah. Let's see these home guard boots turn on. Zoop! And Jarvin's going to be front and center on this fight. This is going to be a little bit more sporadic and not as clean as last time as they're coming in from all sorts of different angles. Fizz is going to play full Trickster out. Is going to be able to be picked up right away, so they're not going to have his damage. Caitlyn trying to back off out of this one and deal some damage. We're getting hunted down by three members of the enemy team. Not going to work out. And Google again just beating feet and backing off. But I believe Qualcomm now going to turn on some pressure here, but after they are able to defend their base. Yep, this is the moment where you have to clear your base and just push push mid to win. Push something over. You have 40 seconds. Go. Impress me. Show me your magic. Show me the fact that your AoE damage isn't going to take any more of this. And you know what? Home guard booted as well. <laughs> At like this Kawasaki. point, though, it looks like they're all just heading back here. Not, uh, 
actually going to press out of this one since they have to defend just with uh, their base inhibitors down in that big enough wave. You know what? I'll run that as an acceptable. Clear lanes, get ready for another one of those fights. You, now that you have this inhibitor in a really bad situation, there is no Baron, there is no Dragon. Clear your lanes, get this back into your control so that next time you can capitalize off your victory. Right now, this game has, in a big way, swung back. Look at those kills. I hadn't taken a peek up there in a minute. What was once a 4-0 game is now... Or 0-4... Four zero, yeah, four zero game is now twelve to twenty two. The killing potential for Qualcomm is huge right now. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of that. I mean, the problem for Google that they're running into now is a lot of the gold is actually stacked on Fizz, who's now died a lot now and is getting picked off first in a lot of these fights. So they don't have a lot to back up uh, their team fight after he does go down. Um, and Renekton, as we get far along this game, is going to fall off. You know, he's only. Uh, so tanky. Eventually, he's going to fall to, you know, the big damage dealers from the other team. You know, this misfortune stacked up pretty well. Uh, Gold Kale now starting to catch up as well. And Rivet, of course, uh, you know, really stellar and, and pretty much expected from their team that point like it would be at that stage at this point. But um, again, their AOE team fight is superior to Google's, and Google has to do more crafty things like backdoor uh, and or get pickoffs uh, because in a straight up fight, they're just going to keep losing. Absolutely, and what we see right here might be a big push coming out of Qualcomm trying to force them into that fight once again as Riven's not busy clearing bottom and they're not having to clear top. Ward's going down for everybody, uh, trying to catch the crocodile out on his tail. Actually, yeah, a lot of split pushing coming in from Google now. Riven actually climbing way back up. Don't know why she actually went down and warded Tribrush. Like, I don't know why you'd ever need that warded at this stage of the game, although it's just diving in here. Oh, she's uh, coming in deep. She knows that Fizz is up top. MF is dropping back to deal with Fizz. Now everybody is. I thought they're now they're gonna try to they're gonna try to box Fizz in. And if they lose Fizz right here, this could be a big, big no no. The shark's gonna come down and miss. Krabby's not gonna make it. Just barely short. That's really unfortunate. Bolt time gonna come across him as he tries to leave without Riven trying to cut off the retreat with Leona. And that's exactly what they wanted to do right there. Bait out the title trickster and send him packing. Fish sticks in hand. And they're pressing here with these minions, but I mean, Riven can dive in here. It's going to be picked up though in response. Leona all coming over the back. Now she's diving in one at a time. Not, uh, I, I, not, recommended. I, not recommended. No, this is, this is, there's the big invulnerable going down, absorbing a lot of damage off of Zin Zhao. But they got to get this Renekton off of their back line. There it is, finally. And now they're just going to start peeling through. Hansel's life seems to be dropping by the moment. If anybody would actually do damage, take that. Leona catching the bullet. Ace in the hole, not connecting for that kill. Coming back in to lay down the damage where possible, and finally Leona's gonna drop, Zin's gonna drop, and Lulu's going down. And Caitlyn, will she be able to hold her own? Death timer's now staggered over 30, over 40 seconds are the staggered death oh, times. Only one brutal. remains standing, and a lone MF is sent to defend her base and reset everything for this next fight. There is no more uh, super minions uh, spawning on either side right now. We are back at a zero-sum fight. Baron's coming back up soon. Dragon's coming back up soon. There's about to be a large fight somewhere, and if these team members keep getting caught out, Pwn Scones keeps getting caught out, if Riven keeps diving in there individually, we could, like, either one of those can throw this in a big way for their team. It's another scenario where they'll just kind of distract him and you're wasting their time and getting them run around actually worked out really well for Google. I mean, they had so much focus top that bottom lane actually Riven, you know, kind of ill-advised, entered in really, really early into the fight, got picked off right away. So they didn't have her. I mean, if they had a little bit of patience and fought over the inhibitor, I don't think they would have lost the inhibitor and Riven probably wouldn't even have died. Um, but that fight really dragged out there. Unfortunate too that Kale fell in the end of minions uh, of all things and actually had his had her still waiting to come up uh, from that death as well and no the problem for Qualcomm right now is eventually they will be able to respond after one of these fights but if enough of them are dying then they actually can't push out of this base so they need to get these waves pushing away from their base otherwise if they keep losing fights in their base they're never gonna actually be able to to fully punish unless we go really really deep into this game and, and you know what else is the problem I see an oracle on one person Lulu I haven't said this in Season 3 yet. I said it a lot in Season 2. But where are my oracles at, Qualcomm? Come on. you got to start clearing these wards. you got to kill their vision. They are blinding you out there. Yeah, losing that top turret as well. They have no turrets, actually. 
to defend under really and just the split push action still happening now with Fizz uh, in the bot lane as they start to close in. But he knows, you know, at least if he has a head start, should be able to get out of this pretty well. But now they're setting themselves up for a 4v2 in the top lane if they try to defend it. So much pressure coming down on this. I mean, this is exactly what Google needs to do. Just waste their time to fill this one out. Intervention coming in now. Hourglass used. Dives to the back line. Almost still might be able to get out of this one. Although the Blade of the Rune King coming in. Trickster's out. Flaxer is finally going to be able to catch it, but now their inhibitor is being pressed. So is it worth it? Let's find out here. Uh, they're going to lose an inhibitor, which is a fair trade. One fizz for an inhibitor. And if they just back themselves out, um, big win for Google. Yep, big win for Google. That's uh, almost completely unacceptable, Qualcomm. I understand that they have to get out there. They have to deal with this Fizz. This Fizz is such a huge problem. But dealing with him so far out, your response time is so low getting back to where you need to be. You have zero vision going on. There isn't enough warding going around around Baron uh, in the enemy jungle. Uh, Fizz is slippery, and I understand that you can catch him, but you're dedicating too many resources. You need to be more worried about sending him away than catching him. Will they get a Baron out of this? This could actually turn it back around. If they get this Baron out of this, they're going to be a much scarier team and have a really good chance getting something beautiful to happen. This is one of those scenarios where, I mean, it looks like they are going to fight out this uh, this Baron fight here. Leona all coming out here. Zin's out running in here. Will he be able to steal it, though? Smites early. It looks like J4 going to be able to take it back. And now we're going to see one possible kill, but the intervention coming at the last second to save Riven. And Wildgrowth used on the cat scam, but he is going to fall. And this is going to be a huge swing back for Qualcomm. And they he might see Google actually lose the game off the back of that. Oh yeah, no, not only giving up that Baron, which would have been fine, you didn't really have a choice on it, but those two kills right on top of that, it's not a good place to be. You've now staggered your death timers, you have three members down for a minute. So, while you did get at that inhibitor, you're now going to lose one of your own, and at, at least the turrets, they're... they're MF does not playing around. She's not shooting tiny little peas at people. Those are hand yeah. cannons. I mean, this and their team be all in, and they should take it. I mean... At this stage of the game. Um, yeah, no, nope, this is done. Yeah. This game just got over. And, I think and the Google helpful hand has been proven to right just again. A, just a lot of interesting... Just... I, I, I feel like Google was playing it crafty and smart, and then the, at the end of the game when they were like, what works for us backdooring? They kind of just ran down to Baron and then defended a Baron when really all they had to do is it, you ran through with an Oracle. You know there's no wards there, so just hang out in their jungle. When they go to go do Baron, then you just run and backdoor their base. Yeah, no, and that moment right the there. They to play, but. Yeah, they're gonna spend that. They're gonna spend that 30 seconds there just attacking some dumb little Baron. Like, that's the mo That is that is your time. That is your moment to shine. That's where you just like fine. Enjoy this 5v4. I hope the base race is worth it. But a good game. Good yeah. game. Well played by both teams. Both strats coming out strong. That Fizz, an absolutely indomitable beast up until end game, uh, where they were finally able to close that gold gap. Um, and overall, the strategy that was um, Qualcomm's, which was, this is our AoE. It, it, there are lots of it like it, but this one is mine. Paid off in the end. Yeah. I mean, greatly. I mean, good fortitude, because a lot of teams, too, when you get behind, you can't get down on yourself, but Qualcomm sticking it through there, knowing that they could make their team comp work, and and uh, again, just there's the game was really interesting because a lot of it was off the bat. There was like a lot of great decisions by both teams and a lot of poor decisions by both teams, and luckily the way it finally stacked out in the end, um, Qualcomm made the last good decision and Google made the. Last